Hi everybody, we are just gonna wait a few minutes until everybody tunes in, because we got some really exciting stuff to talk about today. And uh, just so you know, this is Dr. Hugel and Lisa Kaplan from Metamorphosis Physician Assistant Weight Loss. Yep. So we'll just wait another few seconds, but hopefully you've tuned in, because we're gonna have a little fun tonight. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in last time. We got yes. lots of hits, so we wanna keep it coming. Yeah, make sure to share this with all your friends. All right, so for those of you who are just tuning in, this is Dr. Hugel, Dr. Claudia Hugel from Metamorphosis Physician Assisted Weight Loss here in beautiful downtown Shrewsbury, New Jersey. <laughs> and I'm here with our behavioral counselor, Lisa Kaplan. Hello. And we're going to share a few very simple tricks and tips to help you stay on track with your weight loss plan. So, Lisa, you want to get started? All righty. Well, <laughs> first of all, anyone who knows me knows that I don't just uh, talk the talk. I walk the walk. I actually do all these tips that I teach here at Metamorphosis. Uh, when you go out to dinner, you want to make sure, first and foremost, you don't go hungry. Because if you go hungry, chances are you're not going to have the tools to stay strong and keep that willpower going. I look at willpower as a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. So it starts at every single meal at the beginning, all the way through to the end. So when your waiter comes and brings the bread, as they always do, if they put it in front of you, best thing to do is to hand it off to the person who likes the bread, because if it's in front of you, you're gonna eat it. So you just hand that right off. <laughs> and get rid of it so it's not in front of you. Because if you eat the bread, you're probably going to have the potatoes and the pasta. So if you avoid the bread, you're probably not going to have the potatoes. Now when dessert comes, here's our dessert. So <laughs> sometimes they just plop in front of you. And if it's just not worth it, I rate my food from 1 to 10. If it's a 3, I'm not going to eat it. Uh, better off to be in the garbage than in my stomach because either way it's garbage. So, but but if it is a 10, and some things are a 10, as some people know, it looks like a 10. Those, <laughs> those brownies for me are a 10. I will look at it, I'll have a taste, maybe two tastes, and then I know if I don't ruin this, I'm gonna eat the whole thing and then I'm gonna regret it. So in order to ruin it, I will put a little salt. Whoop, almost dropped it. A little yeah. salt on there, a little pepper on there. Yes. I might even pour a little water on Ugh. there. And then I'll put my napkin on it. And then I won't eat it. Dr. Yugo? Awesome. <laughs> Still looks like a 10. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, well, JK, as my 11 year old will say. <laughs> so, the couple of tips that I want to share. First of all, now this is Arctic Grape Sugar-Free Gum, so my kids love this, but you choose your favorite sugar-free gum, and a lot of times when you're eating something that tastes just so delicious, like that cake, um, <laughs> you, you want to keep eating it because you have that flavor in your mouth and it tastes so delicious and, and you feel so good eating it. So take some gum, throw it in your mouth, it changes the flavor, and you're more likely going to leave it alone at that point, or brush your teeth, that's another good way to get the flavor out of your mouth. I want to point out a couple of uh, portion sized plates. Um, I always talk to my patients about how eating on smaller dishes can really uh, help you to eat less. And there's actually been a lot of studies that have been replicated that show that this is actually true. So I want to show you, this is my actual plate uh, that I eat my dinner on and breakfast and lunch um, when I'm at home. And then this is what the company that sold me these dishes thinks a dinner plate should look like, but it sits in my cabinet because we never eat off these dishes. So this is a good size dinner plate or lunch plate or breakfast plate. This is the difference between, yes, I know it looks small, but if you're having a little, a small salad on the side or you're having a little soup or even a little bit of quinoa or rice or something like that, this is a good portion size. This is way too big for any portion. This is like a whole dinner, all right? So just a couple of dishes to show you. And the last thing is my personal favorite, and this is a contraption, and some of you may remember on Facebook, maybe about a year or two ago, I posted about this because I saw it on Shark Tank, and I said, this is so brilliant, I have to share. I actually purchased this thing, and I think it's awesome. It's called the Kitchen Safe, and you can get it online. Um, I think if you go on the Shark Tank website or Amazon.com, you can get it. And basically what it does, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has a, a timer 
and a lock. And when you, so you put your whatever it is that's really tempting inside. Ooh, probably should have washed that before. <laughs> <laughs> Damn kids. <laughs> anyway, you put whatever tempting food you're trying to avoid even inside, and then you turn it to however length of time you want to keep it in there. So a lot of our patients struggle with eating in the evening. They don't want cake in, in the morning, but you know sometimes in the evening when they come home, it's those few hours that they struggle with. So you throw the cake in there, whatever it is, and you turn it, set it for five, six, 12 hours, you press the button and you can't open it. It's locked for those 12 hours, you can't override it and it's done. So this is a very helpful tool. Um, we've also had patients that just simply put a lock on their, uh, their pantry or they might get um, a, a box that has a combination lock on it and they ask their family members not to tell them the combination. So these are just some other helpful tools that might help you. So hopefully you learned a lot and had a little fun with us. I know we can be a little silly. <laughs> we try to have fun. But um, so we hope that you tune in the next time. We hope that you comment below and share with us your special trips, trip, excuse me, tips and tricks for staying on track. And um, share this video with all your friends. And if you would like to come in and see us for more help, please feel free to give us a call at, uh, at the office and set up a free consultation. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.